All right, welcome back, guys. It's Keith from Outdoor Life, and today I'm gonna be taking up the case to go out, clear out where I'm gonna be hunting this year. See, it's case 235. We're down here on our property. We let the we let the grass get a little too tall, so we're down here mowing it. And I'm gonna put on my head thing, and we're gonna drive up there and go up there, and my spots back there. And we just take the bucket and scrape all the briars and stuff out and I'm clearing out a new trail so that's pretty much all this video is going to be about today so let me put on the head thing okay So I don't know if you guys can hear me, but this is my spot. That's the trail to get into it. And my field camera goes right up there. I'm gonna have my tree stand right there. And I cleared this area out. I'm probably gonna push that back, push that back further. Maybe open it up a little bit more. And the uh, deer right there, I don't know if you can see, but they're pulling at that salt lick I had in there. So I, I'm gonna make a secondary path up there and I'm gonna clear it out up there. So that's pretty much what the video is gonna be about.
thinking. This is my set. This is my first spot right here. I might just clear out that, and make it one big area. I don't know what the plan is yet. So, huh? Oh, I guess I'll just keep posted. guys well I got done for today at least this is the entrance this is the entrance 
We can come up to it off the trail. The tractor's awful nice to have when I'm doing stuff like this. I'm not done with it. I want to come back tomorrow and probably cut down these trees, but that's what it looks like. I should have taken a video before and after because all that was here was this little circle. I mean, it was like 10 by 10. Now look at all of it. So, to come right, come back up, I'm going to know I'm going to have to cut the rest of this tree down because the tractor couldn't get it all. Pulled a tree out of there. It's up there. Uh, there's one right there I'm going to have to cut out. Here I'm going to have to cut out. Hold on. Got something in my shoe. Okay. And then these two I'm going to cut out. That one. And this one I'll probably just snip out. My dad's going to come up with the chainsaw tomorrow. And one right there. There, if you can see it, there, I mean, it almost had it out, but it just needs a little extra, a little extra commitment, you could say. And then, two right here that I need to get sawed off. I think my tree stand is going to go right there. So I got a nice overview of everything. So, yeah, I think it's going to look pretty nice. So this will probably be another, like, two-part series. This is going to be part one. And I can obviously tell the deer liked it up here because, look, they literally dug a hole. And I drove over it so you can't see their tracks. But I literally dug a hole in to get that salt lick. And my field camera was right up there. And uh, I haven't been back here for four or five months. And there's 6,808 pictures on here. I almost couldn't find it because I was down there. And I couldn't see because this was all grown up like it was right there, except for this little spot. So I think it's going to be pretty nice. I'll probably come back in and do a food plot next summer. Some clover and stuff. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow then.